Good evening. It's all right, I wasn't expecting a 1940s evacuee either. It's nice to be here. Uh, yeah, I'm 23 years old. Two years ago, I graduated from university where I studied archaeology and anthropology, which is why I do this now. Because you cannot get a job as an archaeologist. <laughs> That's not even the punchline, but thank you anyway. <laughs> Premature ejaculation from a lady. That's, uh, that's all what we want. Now, you can't get a job as an archaeologist unless you can grow a beard. <laughs> I don't even have a chin. You guys are nice. Full room, it was full room last night as well. There was a lady on the front row called Joyce. Joyce is from Papua New Guinea. She had her son's foreskin on a chain around her neck. <laughs> Apparently it's traditional, it's like a custom, but he looked really uncomfortable. <laughs> nice to have a full room tonight as well we kind of worried that because of the weather because it was nice hot and sunny people might not want to come and sit in a dark room in the evening but the thing is when there is a proper heat wave audiences at comedy clubs only consist of two groups albinos and goths and that is distracting because i just want to split them in half and play chess so, thank you for you guys for coming out tonight uh, it's also important to support i think your local arts Go and see live comedy, go and see live music, go and see live theatre out of in Richmond in West London. We're very lucky to have two marvellous theatres there. The Richmond Theatre last month put on an evening of triple X Roman plays. I thought, that sounds pretty darn sexy. I bought a ticket and went along. It was just 30 plays. <laughs> Tremendously disappointing. <laughs> Fans of the Roman numeral jokes here in Brighton tonight. You, uh, you guys are in for a real treat. <laughs> I've got literally M's. It is. <laughs> yeah, you're laughing now. I'm not fucking kidding. <laughs> Do you remember when X Factor was just Roman sun cream? <laughs> Love my girlfriend as well. We met at university five years ago. Maybe it was fate that brought us together because she was the most beautiful girl at the university who would fuck me. And her, <laughs> her family are marvelous. I get on with them quite a lot unless they ever see a recording of that joke. Uh, <laughs> the first time we met though, the first time we went to stay at her parents' house, her dad wouldn't let us sleep together, which was a shame because he's fucking fit. <laughs> He's a top bloke. He helped us out with a deposit on uh, the, fir the first flat we got together, which is nice. Uh, my girlfriend and I got a flat, so my girlfriend and I got a cat, which is cute. She keeps bringing dead birds into the kitchen, trying to impress me. You know, I think she feels threatened by that cat. And I... <laughs> we called our cat Socks um, as well. I think it's a cute name, Socks, because we had a pair but lost one in the washing machine. Um, <laughs> fucking... Like any of this shit I've been saying has been true so far. <laughs> That's the only one. Um, <laughs> nah, she doesn't like that joke, you know. I'm quite American myself. I'm a huge fan of American music, as you can probably assume from my general appearance, demeanor, and dress. I'm a huge fan of gangster rap. My, I'm not kidding. My favorite rapper is Dr. Dre, or exactly, or as I used to call him, Dr. Dr. E, until... <laughs> That gets beaten out of you by your homies. Apparently, I'd also learned if you call it street credibility, you do not have it. My girlfriend doesn't like gangster rap. She says the violent, misogynistic lyrics and imagery make me a worse person. And I don't know what that bitch ass slut's talking about, because <laughs> rap can be a marvelous thing if deployed correctly. It doesn't have to be guns, bitches, and blink. It can be many other things. With that in mind, if you can all think of a word. What is that? Goat. Okay, cool. It's kind of like a sheep with horns, but we'll take that anyway. Okay. It's pronounced Bukaki, um, but we will... <laughs> we'll, uh... Nothing. 
that you feel like you've got egg on your face, which is exactly what those girls feel like as well. So um, we've got goat, we've got bakake. Word from people at the back, shout loud. Rats. Uh, rats, bakaki, goat. Word from down here. Vodka, any specific brand of vodka, and not Smirnoff. If you can play that beat, we'll get this shizzle going for Rizzle. Thank you. Uh, nice. Ah, uh, cool. Yeah. We're gonna kick it off, kill this shit like round boat. My favorite farmyard animal is a goat. I wake up, I see it early in the morn. Out there in the field with its curly horns. I go down, yeah, that's what I did. I walk up to it and I touch the kid. Now, I must stress, I must discern. Kid is what you call a little one of the goats. I take it into my house. Oh shit, a rat, it's kind of like a mouse. I put it on the surface, yeah, on my kitchen. Slice it open, then I start itching. Why all the rats, they bring in the fleas. They crawl up my shoes and socks and onto my knees. Into my pants, yeah, I itch like my dad. Itches his ass crack when he got anal crap. But back to the goat, yeah, if you please. I use its milk to make goat's cheese. And I'm like, shit, I pour scorn. I've actually killed a male one. Yeah, a billy, there's no milk inside this animal. I go put it in the bin with a flannel Why I hold it to be hygienic I don't know why I bother when I got the rats in it Yeah, a little rat over there in my house I pick it up and say, bitch, you a mighty mouse But hey, I look at him on the back of his nape He ain't got no M etched on the back of his cape I take him over here, continue my rap And drop him in my rat vodka trap Yeah, I put him in there, I let him sink down It's a bravka with bison grass, so he drowns Yeah, let me tell you a nice little tale if you make a nice frisky bison cocktail You get the apple juice from the fridge You put it in, stir it around, give it a squidge It tastes kinda like apple pie with cinnamon You get it in Weatherspoons for like £2.40 man Yeah, you go buy it with some nice ice Get it in your life, yeah, back to the lice Okay, over here You tried to rush me because you tried to interrupt And shouted the word pussy And I was like, no, don't want that today Would rather discuss B-R-L-A They are the valve regulated Let us if that's a reason. That is a word that I can rhyme with ease Now may I be going one step too far To say you find that in the bonnet of a car Yes it is, whoa, what a fucking guess That was made up, yeah That was incestuous, why was that? Yeah, that word just rhymed which is how this shit works like all of the time. Okay, back over here. Make no mistake, which is what you did when you pronounced it boo cake. It's got two K's, motherfucker, in the middle. And one at the end, it ain't any kind of riddle. I have to say, when I hear you pronounce it like that, man, you're clearly not from the country where it originated, Japan. It was over there in the 80s when a man said, hey guys, fetch your mateys. We'll all get in the middle, form a semicircle. What for the hokey pokey? No, that would be hurtful because you put your left leg in and kick that girl. We grab our penises and then we hurl the hot steaming semen all over her face. We gotta end that right there because that is a fucking disgrace, shit.